Hello and welcome to Shirt Shop in this series in which myself and a guest go around to classic football shirts in London. They have a £500 budget to buy whatever football shirts they want. And speaking of classic football shirts and a budget, you can win a £50 voucher for yourself. All you have to do to have a chance of winning is like this video, subscribe to the channel and comment what shirt you thought was our guest's best purchase. And speaking of our guest, let's meet them. Welcome to Shirt Shop and Reeve. Yes! Thank you, you for having me, mate. Yeah, I'm, I'm very excited to be here. I feel like this is like probably the two most muscular men in UK me YouTube. Me and you. Yeah, in one place. Look at us. Like, we, we struggled fitting through the door, so <laughs> says it all. You've got 500 pounds to spend today. What are you looking for? I don't know. I thought I'd come and like sort of be guided by your expertise. Yeah. But I'm, I, I'm, I'm keen on Dortmund. I'm keen on Arsenal. Obviously, this is a 98 Dortmund shirt. You're so. very nice. I don't know, mate. I don't know. You're the pro. I like. I've, I've I've done like a pre-scan, and some of the jackets look very nice. So maybe. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I think we'll just we'll just sort of have a look around and get into it. Absolutely fine by me. Let's do it. Come on then. I'll, I'll say come on then as if I like <laughs> open the gap. Come on then. <laughs> you always start here. This is. Oh, oh look at that! Look at that manufacturer of this <laughs> influence. <laughs> wow. I mean, it's good for this day and age, isn't it? Really. Yeah. That's a great kit. It is a good kit. Never seen that before. I don't think I want a Portsmouth football kit though. That's the only problem. Yeah, you're not a big Pompey fan? Yeah, they're, they're all right. I mean, throw back to the days of Kevin Prince Boateng and stuff, but. Yeah. Well, I'll let you look through and then you can pick something okay. out and then okay. we'll go from there. Do I go really boring and just go for an Arsenal top? Do people do that? Do yeah. If this wasn't 3XL, I probably would get it. You fit your chest in it. <laughs> <laughs> I get it for you. Yeah, of what? <laughs> yeah. Um, are there any other Arsenal ones there'll, available? There'll be Arsenal shirts in the legend section, so we, okay. can, we can get around to that. Okay. So just keep Do flicking. I keep, just keep flicking through and browsing? Yeah. Nice. Charlton, Celtic, could do that, you know. That's you start, Celtic or Rangers, or you just, you're not I, really either? My, my entire lineage uh, are Celtic. So, really? Yeah, like my, my grand, great granddad and stuff are all Celtic fans. Um, Lydia. Yeah, well, they're, they're, they're Catholics, aren't they? So, I mean, oh, okay. The tendency, it's quite political, though, isn't it? So, yeah. 96, 97 Celtic away shirt. See, I don't want to, for lack of a better phrase, blow my load and just be like, pick stuff that I don't want and then come around later and be like, oh, I want that instead. Oh, sorry, I've just. What is that? That is unbelievable. That's incredible. What the wolves? Out of the darkness comes cometh light. Have they coincided this with the Last of Us release? What is going on? <laughs> That's unbelievable, isn't it? Made, made by Nutmeg. That is uh, interesting because my girlfriend is called Meg. So <laughs> I think because my girlfriend's called Nutmeg. <laughs> that is really interesting. <laughs> this is great banter. It really is. Big Arsenal fan. I am, yeah. How are you feeling about this season? I mean, it's a stupid question. I couldn't question. be happier, but I'm, I'm say. I, I know this, there's this idea of, oh, we're going to bottle it, but originally the, um, the aim was top four, right? So no matter what happens, even if we don't win the Premier League, mm. we've exceeded all expectations. I actually put us, as a realistic Arsenal fan, in fifth place before the season started as predictions. So all I'm trying to do is remain in the present and enjoy each game that we're on top. Do you reckon, obviously, you've got a podcast where you talk about football. Some of those clips go viral on TikTok, especially, and whatever. Yes. Most of them, they are controversial, that's why. Yeah, I was going to say, though, how many footballers do you reckon have seen or watched your content? ST, that's oh, a player issue, right? It is a player, yeah, but small. Oh, no. Stephen tries. <laughs> Stephen tries. Oh, feed me, baby. <laughs> oh, mate, I might actually do a little trade-off here because I don't want to overspend. I feel like that's a cooler thing to get. That is unbelievably cool. Double XL though. Is there a, a way of trying it on? Yeah, we do because a trying on section. Is... <laughs> Big fan of the series. <laughs> no, I mean now. I mean now. No, we'll hold it. To, I'll just okay. hold it for okay. you. Don't you worry. Right. No, I know I can try it on. I just meant because <laughs> it's it, it, it's old. So traditionally, it would be a little bit smaller. And a bit right? like um, you want it to be oversized as well. Yeah. So, uh, so the fact that it's double XL probably I'll... means it would maybe XL-ish. Okay. I'll hold it for now. Yeah, but then I get the Wenger vibes as well because it's giant. I mean, that's like a rocking out like an Arsene Wenger from Dortmund. Yeah, that would be cool. It would look cool on a football shoe. It would look cool on a football shoe and it'd keep me warm. It would keep you warm. Can I trade? Can I put that back and then take this one? Okay, but what if, if that doesn't fit, we can then come back for this later. Absolutely, that's fine by me. Okay. 
Thank you, my friend. I wanted to ask you, you've obviously been around the YouTube game for quite a while. Yeah, coming up to a decade. Yeah. yeah. What's it been like seeing like sort of how it's changed since you first came through? <sighs> the scene is so different now. I think the the way in which videos are made and the production value is just it's a whole new world. It's like TV esque now. Yeah. Whereas before it was, you know, you could sit in your room and make a 20 minute FIFA video and that would be the, the epitome of yeah. grand design and production. And now it's like you've got thousands of people working on videos just for one channel. Mm. I mean, I certainly like, when it comes to big channels like Mr. Beast and the Sidemen, they are pioneers of the next generation of like YouTube media, aren't they? So Even like Will and E's been uploading really videos absolutely, recently, yeah, talking about like his team yeah. and stuff. There's so many amazing people that are doing great jobs on YouTube that, you know, new, old age media have a real tough time of keeping up, I reckon. <laughs> Is this Barcelona one? Very That's cool. Synonymous with my channel. Because I was really scammed nice. out of seven thousand dollars. So oh yeah, of course. Yeah. What even happened? It's just still being investigated by the US police. Really? I get asked about it every day. It's like I just Jesus. don't imagine. I don't think I'm ever getting that money back. Let's be honest. I'm not getting the money back. I've resigned myself to it. Would it? So what? It's just like in the air now. Like you, it's in the cloud. The money cloud. He's got the money. Yeah, yeah. Uruguayan man. That's mental. And he's still selling stuff as well. I was told that <laughs> really? he's still selling stuff. <laughs> he's just selling it under a different name now. Oh, come on. Long sleever. Stop it. Yes. Yes? I'll put it on my arm. I'll put it on your arm. <laughs> That's going to strain my basket. Oh, Opal sponsor. Oh, this is, oh, I'm, I'm, I don't even know how much I've wrecked up here. But you, that, could be but you well can try over. them on and one might fit worse. Okay, it's yeah, that's a, bad, a good point. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put that on your arm then. Okay. Thank you. No worries. Hold up to the camera. Wow. <laughs> Opal's Vauxhall, right? Opal is Vauxhall. Just in Because someone would say Opal brand. Corsa underneath them as well. Yeah. My first car was a Vauxhall Corsa. Was it? Yeah. Mine was a Renault Clear. People sort of associate Vauxhall Corsas with like McDonald's car park with like 14 year olds in yeah, the car. Well, yeah. where I live, that's where they... That's not me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You <laughs> just incriminate yourself. What's going on? Yeah, so a funny story actually. Uh, so my brother and I shared our first ever car, which was a gold Renault Clio. Yeah. And he put on Facebook, uh, seaman driving a German whip, <laughs> which of course it's a French car. Uh, and then he got put on, you know, one of those like, equivalent to, you know, lag Bible sort of things. Yeah. Of like, this guy is an idiot. <laughs> Tagged his Facebook, <laughs> Facebook status with it. And it went, it went like viral within our college. It was pretty funny. Yep. How long have you been doing the game? How long have you been in I YouTube? started in 2014. So you but probably- But it's been my job for two and a half years. Yeah. But you probably would have been in an era where if someone liked your video and it came up on like social media, yeah, feed, they, they, they would, came up on Twitter. Yeah, you would generate so many subs off the back of that because yeah. someone liked your video. No one just did. Doesn't happen anymore. <laughs> Never happened for me. But they were crap. So that's the truth. They were awful. <laughs> yeah, but over time, it's... over time they became less so. Yeah. These it... are. That's a nice Germany kit. It's a shame it's a bit too small though. People sort of have a stigma against Germany kits as English people. There's like still like- Oh, I love I Germany I even got hate for wearing an Argentina kit during the World Cup because of like the Falklands. I wasn't alive. This is what I mean. I think I, didn't. I think our generation should be at least excused because our sort of our favorite footballers growing up aren't necessarily Englishmen. No. My favorite Leeds player is Argentina, it's Becchio. Yeah. He was like an Argentinian striker. Luciano, so. what a baller. Luciano, Luciano. Was it Luciano Becchio? And then was he is cost less than Berbatov and scores more goals. Which I don't think was factually correct, <laughs> really, because we were in League One. Is that a keeper top? It is, isn't it? It is, yeah. Wow. I mean, that's pretty vibey. Is that Dida? It doesn't say, but I'd imagine so. Yeah. It's 04 to that is 6. cool, it's decent price as well. Whack it on my Whack arm, it sir. On, mate. Whack it on my arm. See, I feel like I'm growing into this now. I'm picking yeah. out shirts that just aren't Dortmund. <laughs> <laughs> that can't be. You being serious? <laughs> Who's Such... your favourite legend? Favourite football legend of all yeah. time? I see. It depends because when I grew up, like FIFA 09, I loved Podolski. Oh yes. Is he a legend though? Probably not. If you're going legend... He's, he's borderline, isn't he? I mean, he's done enough to clarify, but... Yeah. He's I'm not like... the first name that people would think of. Raquel May, I used to love Raquel growing up. May, Raquel really? May, really? was quality. That's cool. Just such a hipster, you know? So I don't play by society's norms. Uh, legend? <laughs> Jerry De La Feo? Maybe Watford fans would say yeah, so. Maybe. He's not. He, what club's that for? That is... Al-Shabaab? Someone like that? I don't know. Please tell me that's close. Severe. Severe. <laughs> 
Al <laughs> Shabab. Al Shabab. Oh, Gareth Bale. Yeah. You know, ironically, he's one of my favourite footballers of all time. Do you think? And I'm an Arsenal fan. Yeah, actually, where do you stand on the best British player of all time? Shouts people have been doing. It's I, Bale for me. Because when but, people do get quite reactionary, you know, like yeah. when how like <laughs> two weeks before Pele died, obviously the king, Messi was the best of all time yeah, on Twitter. Yeah. Pele dies, yeah. he's the best of all time. Yeah. So, do you think that's maybe a bit reactionary? You've given Bale that shout, or he's the most. He's the oh, most he was. It, no, he's we, most we've discussed it before. Okay. And it was always always for me either George Best or Gareth Bale. And to be fair, and I know people are going to be like, oh, but Rooney, come on. Yeah. Um, but I think the thing with Rooney was he was brilliant, but he never fulfilled his potential that he could because his potential was so high. But like no, he, I, I, was think, I, was think he, I think he just he was, fulfilled he it there. too quickly. I yeah, think he was he that picked, good he so young. yeah, he was that good so early that he, he kind of plateaued for the rest of his career. Mm. Like he hit his prime, and his prime lasted a decade. And plus, he was too in, he got injured, which stunted a lot because of how he was treated. Yeah. Nice to see Holt fans booing you. Here he is. The left foot. I feel like I've mentioned him on most episodes of the series. Really? You know? I just need to mention the man. And I loved him and Bojan. Um, really? He was tainted night. as the next Messi, wasn't he? Do you remember? Yeah. And then he went to Stoke and everyone was like, oh my gosh. To be actually... fair, when he first came to Stoke, I, I always say this as well, the first few months at Stoke, he was phenomenal. Yeah. And then he got injured in the cup game. Oh, it's so tragic, I know this. Oh, I think it was against Rochdale and then it just all went downhill. What a sad little life, Jane. Am I right in thinking you've got the Dortmund blackout shirt as well? I do. Well, how did that come about? Uh, well, I'd spend 450 British pounds for that. Dortmund gave me it, I think, I believe. Sent me it directly. What was the what was the context for those who don't know? I know. Uh, so I, I recorded or did used to record a series uh, around Marco Royce. Um, sadly, his card on FIFA is no longer really good enough to be able to do that anymore. Um, and Dortmund oh, at Black Yellow uh, followed me at Black Yellow. Yeah, the, the English one because the Dortmund ones are just like uh, BBB, I think. Um, followed me on Twitter and then sent me a blackout shirt and a neon shirt. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to wreck the neon shirt, but I thought this is cooler because it has my name on. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. For people that are only just figuring it out, my actual name is Oliver. Oliver. I was actually going to ask you a current point about the YouTube boxing scene. It's a generic question you have to ask everyone. <laughs> that would have been so good. There's another Omri on up there, actually. It's medium. To be fair... Can I, can I just stick them on your arm and see if they fit? Yeah. Okay, cool. Look at the, the size of this man. I mean, that, that does not look small Which to one me. looks bigger out of the both of them? How is that of... small? They did look... The same size as the medium, but well, I'll put them both on my arm. My okay. arm. I've got to get a TT shirt, surely. I can't um, come away with that on Henri Top. YouTube boxing, yes or no? Would you ever get involved? Because I feel um, like it would be kind of unfair on your opponent potentially with the size of you. But the problem is, every time that I've been in the sphere of being asked, the, the opponents that people are suggesting are always massive and bigger. Really? So, yeah, most notably Jamel. People are always like, oh, you should fight Jamel. I'm like, he's six foot four and like 25 kilos heavier. That's not, I don't really want to get in there. And also, I feel like if I'm ever going to do YouTube boxing, it has to be a person that I would willingly want to punch yeah. in the face. Hmm. And there's nobody in the world currently that I feel like that. No. So. Also the issue for me, if I ever got involved, is like, I, there's no one, not one in England I could win a fight against. I honestly believe That's that. not true. It is true. Come on. You like, versus Wheelstone Raider, mate. That's what we <laughs> get on the cards. Where are you at, We've reached the scoop boon. Scott, there's another one up there. There is another one up there. Fleetwood manager. He's got full hair. I, I cannot believe Scott Brown, by the way, that his whole career could grow a full head of hair. Do you know how annoying <laughs> that is? He yeah. actually, and he chose to yeah. be bald for the look. There's like, lots of people. Even Bateson can grow hair. He can't. He can. Can he? It's, it's, it's a choice, mate. It's, it's chosen boldness. Piss off! I mean, I could do that, you know. I mean, that's pretty cool. Hemrick, Ricky Lambert. <laughs> yeah. No, no, not Paul Lambert. Ricky Paul Lambert, Lambert, Ricky Lambert. The classic, the classic Celtic kick in my mind is the Carling. That reminds me of Samaras. It's not though, but good shout. McManus. Yeah. Samaras, they had um, Chris Commons, that kind of era. Yeah, I think. See it again, Carling. Yeah. Long That's sleeve good... Scott Brown. Long sleeve Scott Brown. Oh, I can't imagine. He that. would he never, never wear that. That's really nice. That's the the kit the year that Omri came back. Yeah. Why is it not capitalised? I don't know. That's annoying though, isn't it? Because I'm now reading. It looks strange. Henry. Yeah. <laughs> it does look like Henry, doesn't it? Yeah. I could get a righty top. That would be cool. I love Ian Wright. Oh, I love Ian Wright. Such a positive. Do you know football. what? I'm going to stick it on your arm. Go on. Because Ian Wright, the goatee, mate. I can't just keep pulling out Thierry Henry shirts, can I? Bakary Sanya. <laughs> Do you know what he reminds me of? FIFA 12. 
Whenever he'd make a challenge, the commentator would all go, strong tackle, back, strong, strong tackle, Bakary Sanya, every time. I remember the Chris Kamara, Sakari Banya. Sakari Banya, uh, Bakary uh, uh, Sanya. I think what we do is then, there's a little change room over Absolutely. there. I'll hand these yeah. over to you and then you go try them on. Thank you so much. Just hand. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming on the series. Have that you enjoyed a, yourself? I really did, mate. Thank yeah. you so much. That was a real pleasure. I do aim to please. You've obviously, you're the first guest to come under budget. Yep. <laughs> great, great. Also, obviously, there is a chance for one of you to win a £50 classic football shirts voucher. All you have to do to have a chance of winning it is like this video, subscribe to the channel, and come on what you thought Reeves' best pick was. Also, use the comment section to suggest guests for future episodes of the series. Speaking of that, we're looking to go big this year. Who's a guest you think is big but obtainable to come on the series? Who's someone you reckon would love to come on? Who do I reckon would love to come on? Have you tried Cal Freezy? I haven't, but we'll try that now. I reckon he'd love to. Hello, Cal Freezy. His ball knowledge is awful, but I reckon he'd pick some decent shirts. Would he like the fashion ele element of it? I think so, yeah. He'd, he'd pick some you know, retro looking, yeah. decent kits, I think. Okay, so Cal Freezy, the call out is there. And we'll see you very soon for more football shirt content and more away days. Ciao, ciao. Bye.